Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely um, uh, stressful uh, coming at, at first um, because you know I've I've been with Star and Yamaha for uh, shoot my whole career, and it was just uh, you know the the time had come to um, to move on, and and it was it was definitely a hard decision, and, and Yamaha they they've had my back since day one, since I was on a, a YZ 85 and, and, um, you know, I can't thank those guys enough, but, um, I was, you know, excited after the stress went away. I was, I was definitely excited because, um, I had talked to Roger and I had talked to Ian and, and, you know, coming into there, I knew it was going to be, um, you know, one of those, uh, I don't know, honeymoon feelings, I guess. And, um, it was it was a great it was a great sight to see them just step up and and uh see my attitude and and take my uh look at things and and kind of match that you know every day they've they've said you know keep keep doing what you're doing and and keep your outlook on everything we don't want you to change anything and um people were people were skeptical on uh if I was going to cut my hair or not and <laughs> and you know i i was excited to uh to reveal that video and i think that answered a lot of the questions that were were being asked but um overall you know i i can't thank yamaha enough um and star racing and bobby reagan and everybody over there enough for you know starting my career and getting it to where it is now and then me moving on um you know i'm excited to to do what i can for the uh ktm factory racing team hey aaron i was a little curious about your decision to to move to ktm um obviously you're, you're focusing on the now and you know supercross and motocross and all that but was there any part of the decision where you thought like if it works out well with ktm and i'm able to end my career there you're you're obviously a big off-road enthusiast and, and guy um, but that relationship with KTM and when what they do in the off-road world, did that kind of like give you a little bit more of an appetite to come and, and see, you know, if it does pan out that you could maybe move to off-road post-racing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, that was that was a, a small thought in the in the whole process, but um, yeah, I think so. It's it's they have a, a really really high class. Um, off-road team and and they showed it this year with with uh winning the championship again so um it's it's definitely a thought in my mind when when that time does come but um you know i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get all i can in this motocross and supercross before i think about that yeah probably a good idea yeah ben kelly won the gncc race I, did somebody tell me he was 90th at one point in the lap one he and Stu were way and he way came from 90th back, to yeah. 7th or something what? Yeah, dude, no. that that whole deal was was crazy. I wasn't watching it uh, live, but I was was keeping up with it. Um, they do their little Instagram posts, and uh, I saw that Stu was in with a with a clutch thing, and then um, Ben Kelly. I saw he come in for the pit, and he was like thirty second overall. So yeah, I knew it was going to be a, a down to the wire kind of race. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey, so um, obviously, look, you you turn it around uh, early in the Supercross season, and really started riding well. We had you on this show. You talked about how Ricky Gilmore and KYB guys found some really good chassis stuff that worked for you, and then you signed the KTM deal. At some point, uh, I hear that Yamaha wants to keep you, and they're going to match the deal, and you're a little bit in limbo as far as what's going to go on with that. Usually the OEMs don't match, but this is Bobby Reagan and Star, and we saw how that goes. Um, was it stressful for you kind of say, thinking, like, where am I? I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know if I'm going to go orange. I don't know if I'm going to go blue. Like, how close did it come down to the wire and how stressful was that process? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was pretty stressful. Um, not, I mean, I, I didn't let it get to me. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it was, it was definitely a, a toss up there for a minute, but I mean, overall, I, I kind of, I kind of knew a little bit that, that KTM, I mean, they stepped up and they, they did what they could. And, mm -hmm. and, um, I knew those guys over there were really, really excited to work with me. And, uh, Coop even was really excited to have me as a teammate again and, and, uh, vice versa. So, um, 
you know, it was a, it was a toss up there for a minute, but mm-hmm. um, when the time come, I, I knew where I wanted to go. Either way, you're going to make a lot of money, ride a factory bike. Like, you're good. Either way. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Things could have been a lot worse. Right, right, exactly. 